sure if you can see the amount of yellow uh, from, from where you're sitting. Uh, I think, it, I think and, it's a, I'm sorry, Chris. I, I think it's important that Larry had an opportunity to do that because he didn't have an opportunity because the, the, the conversation derailed for mm -hmm. what turned into several hours last Monday and the energy was yes, out of the room by that opportunity. So I think it's important that Larry does get a Absolutely. chance to do that because I know the importance to him and I think there'll be value for all of us in that information. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, please, pages. Okay, page numbers and, 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 and guys, which, yeah, which one? I, I, I just kept with the same book because I so figured it's, it's, it's the original book. From the OG binder. Yeah. There shouldn't be much difference in pages anyway. It, some of it is just curiosity. For instance, who decides how many internal service funds we have? Is that? What page? Oh, that, that would be uh, page uh, uh, 11, from a numeral 11. But, like that there's four internal service funds who decides that? Right. In other words, could we, we could add to those funds as necessary. Well, they would have to meet criteria for being an internal service fund, but uh, that was the previous administration. At the, uh, my assumption was with discussions with the governing body, but... I, I'm just, the only reason I'm curious about that is that it would seem like that might help us allocate, you know, since you did cost allocation, maybe to allocate those uh, those numbers in a more transparent manner? Well, the, okay, so the criteria for an internal service fund would be something that you would charge as if you were an outside group, so IT services. Things that would are fee-based, essentially, charges for services. It's an enterprise fund. Mm -hmm. So that we're charging each other funds charging back their IT services to all the people that get IT services. So it would be something like that. So we could have more. You could. And what would there be advantage? Would, would there be an advantage? I. It, that's all a policy decision. Mm -hmm. You can do whatever you like, and we're here to support you. Like, like what? I mean, like what would be an example? I, you know, I, I, I don't know. Well, so, I, so I, there you go. I mean, it's a policy decision. Yeah, but I mean, there's no, there's no, there's no rule. No. requirement nope, nope, that you nope. have only four. Or no, it's, it would be like a. Finite. Generally accepted accounting principle or GFOA recommended best practice. It's that kind of stuff, but it's certainly all a policy decision. You may do whatever you wish, unless I say, well, that's not really an, an enterprise fund, and therefore it doesn't meet the criteria. But other than that, I, it doesn't make me any difference. Or Cheryl, I mean, that's it's all policy. And I guess that, that <coughs> might be something we could pursue in the future, is to, you know, again, find out who's using the bulk of city services and apply those funds, you know, to where they go. Eternally. Well, that's what you're doing now. That's what we're doing now. That's, that's yeah, exactly there's what only, we're doing. There's only four, right? There's four, right, right now. Why, why those four and not others? Those were identified as ones that are citywide. Risk services, IT services, mm -hmm. building maintenance services, and then the utility billing is only to the utility funds. But other than that, it's all the funds. So those are the ones that are identified as affects everyone. But the human resources, for instance, could be allocated based on who uses the most. It is of being allocated in the cost allocation tool. That's, they met with all of us, remember? But that's it's, the part. It's all in the model. Right, but I, I'm saying that's now part. that you've got those, those, you know, that cost allocation model, maybe it's time to open up the internal service funds and show where those, those numbers actually go. I. It's just a, just a no, I'm, suggestion or a creative. Um, what I'm saying is that's already being done in the cost allocation model. General fund services are being included in the hopper, the sausage grind, whatever you want to yeah. call it. That's all already in there. Okay. Um, uh, one question I had on, on page uh, Roman numeral 14. It says operating expenditures increased $109,000. $800, but we're all partially offset by a $74,000 reduction in capital outlay. I, was, I just wrote, what was that capital outlay reduction? It would which? be all things general fund, so we'd have to go through and pick you out line item by line item by line item. But it, that's it, that's it says supporting the governing bod body's strategic goals. I'm just trying to, we don't know what that is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we could dig it out. I mean, it's been an al analyzed once, but we... We just went through and cut out. I mean, it would be everything that okay. Cheryl's already squeezed for you. 
Uh, under uh, the next page where it says the electric fund revenues are down $511,000, that seems like a pretty big number. We talked about that. They were off 5%. And, and then they reset their their consultant, reset to 2013 projections and only increased it by 1%. Mm -hmm. and I, I backed into those numbers. I mean, it wasn't a formula, but I backed into them. That's all he's done. Does anyone, can anyone account for why that happened? Was it, was it a mild summer? I mean, it cooler than normal summer. It's subject to weather, obviously, yeah. and electric, okay. but that, yeah. we talked about how it ended at the end of 13. Right. And, and this summer is not doing the right. electric fund any favors, even no, if it's right. good. Right, probably not. And so. probably not your water fund either, actually. Yeah. Uh, same page, it says additional transfers are remade to the wastewater development fund and water development fund. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what page you're on. Oh, uh, I'm well, sorry. Page 15, probably do 15. Last sentence before the water budget Next section. Slide. 15 would be XV, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, let me catch up. Going back a little bit. Okay, so where are you reading? Uh, the last, oh, next to the last sentence uh, of that water fund paragraph. This is a question you think may have gotten answered last week, but I'm not sure I quite understood it. It's where are these transfers? I mean, it, it appears to me that there's money being transferred uh, from the utility fund to the general fund. No. It's the other way around? No. The, this is talking about, so you're talking about additional transfers are being made to wastewater development fund and the water development fund? Uh -huh. They're being made from utility. Okay, so previous councils had us set up development funds for water and wastewater because they wanted to say to segregate growth pays its own way. So what this says is growth's not paying its own way. And so we're transferring operating money to debt service. That's what those transfers. So the development funds contain the debt service for water and wastewater, and you're shifting operating money to your debt service because that's exactly what's required by, by your loan covenants and your bond covenants. And now what you could do, something for the governing body to consider, is we don't have to, there's no requirement to keep a separate development fund. So what we're doing is holding the balance in the wastewater fund and the wastewater development fund. If we combined them and just called it wastewater, because that's what your financials do anyway, mm -hmm. and they they're not reported separately. We're budgeting separately, but they're not reported separately. If you combine them, I suspect you'll have a much larger <coughs> revenue or what we call fund balance. You'll have a much larger fund balance and we could probably squeeze it down some. Or use the money for more projects rather than carrying a balance in both. If you combine them, you'll have a bigger balance and you could do something else with it. But that would be a policy decision you as well. Because, because we have a larger pot. You would have a larger pot to call fund balance. Segregated. You would have a better idea of rather than trying to decide whether or not growth was paying its own way, you just say we get what we get and we spend what we need. Because if I'm carrying 12% in one and 12% in another, which I'm not exactly, but let's just say, then you'd have 24% and you don't need that for utility funds. The best practice for those is 12% because they're only required to be six weeks because you can raise utility rates anytime if you needed to. Well, That's we, the best practice. Can we put that on the wish list for next year? You, you that is a policy decision. What's that? If you would like, you sure. can come by. I mean, it sounds like you kind of think it's a good idea. I, I think it's a good I'm idea. holding more money than you need to. I think, I think so. it's a good idea as well. And that's why we do that's why we're over this. This is actually part of priority-based budgeting right. because this is, this is the kind of, yeah, monitor and adjust. But what I'm, what I'm saying is it was a previous decision, yeah. so it is still a policy decision, and that's all I'm saying. Right, mm -hmm. but the two points I think are clear, as I've always predicted, growth never pays its way. That's I would say it hasn't so far. Okay, and secondly, it appears that all of the complaints that we had about previous administrations robbing from, you know, mm. some funds to pay general fund expenses or debt service or whatever was happening where, where we didn't really fully account for the windfall that, that occurred for every time we mm -hmm. dug a foundation and, you know, put a, a tap on a line. I guess what I'm trying to say is it looks like we're still kind of doing that. I want to clarify, though, what I said was it was a previous policy decision. Mm -hmm. So it was implemented by staff as a previous policy decision. So if you want to change your policy decisions, that's absolutely fair. But <coughs> it did work very well for them. So I, I guess I, I would say we probably should. And I will also say the electric department 
electric fund does not have a development fund. No. They have a capital repair and replacement fund. That's not a development fund. Water and wastewater do. And those are the ones 